Well, good afternoon and welcome to another program of AQS Guild Buzz with Bonnie. I can't tell you how glad I am to be back with you all. Uh, working at home and uh, being on furlough for a while, it's great to be back and um, getting to visit with quilters again. <laughs> <laughs> and so today my guest is Lori Steib, and Lori is with the Gulf States Quilting Association in Louisiana. And I guess it isn't just Louisiana though, is it? Correct. We're a four state organization, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and the Panhandle of Florida. Okay, so uh, representing all those areas, tell us a little bit about your guild and how that works. So um, we are in our 36th year of Guild uh, Incorporation. We started as um, a regional area of the National Quilting Association. And at some point they decided that um, the regional areas didn't quite match up to their needs. And so at that point, um, one of the founding members of GSQA decided that that connection still needed to exist. And so they went ahead and incorporated as GSQA. Well, now I've taught for your group before. And so That's right. uh, tell us what you do as far as meetings and things with your group, since it covers such a wide area. That's right. So we have quarterly meetings and um, we try to incorporate um, workshops at the same time. So because people are coming from a long distance, they get more bang for their buck, I guess. So they can come in on a Thursday, Friday for a two day workshop, or sometimes we do one day workshops. And then Saturday would be our um, general quarterly meeting. And we do um, lots of goodies. There's always yummy snacks because one of our guilds hosts the quarterly meeting. And then we have tables set around the perimeter where we have lotto blocks for sale and charity quilt kits to pick up or a spot for you to drop off your charity quilts. Um, we have a ways and means table where we sell all kinds of fun stuff like I have my cup with our logo. <laughs> and those are nice so, cups um, too. <laughs> it's a nice day of camaraderie and quilting and usually the teacher who taught the two days before is our guest lecturer. So of course we have to do our business and we do all that too, so it's a fun day. Well, so tell me a little bit about uh, the different kinds of charitable things that your group does. So we are all over the place. Um, in the beginning, we did, um, it's usually in conjunction with the quilt show. And so um, they started in the very first year, 1984, I believe, they made huggamals, which are animal pillows, and those were used, uh, distributed to the abused or neglected kids throughout the Gulf States area. Um, that same year, they gave a grant to the LSU Textile um, Museum and also uh, gave some quilts to the Women's Correctional Facility in Mississippi. But um, it's also been very varied. One year, they did Alzheimer art quilts that they collected for auction. Um, these, and I'm, I'm actually a very recent member of GSQA, and so in, in my time, I know they've given quilts to the um, police in the St. Tammany Parish, which is where the quilt show is hosted now, and they can keep them in the back of their car and use them when they go to remove a child from the home. Um, they all, we've also done a pillowcase drive, we've done women's shelters, and um, a lot of flood relief and hurricane relief. So it's been very uh, varied. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. And, and in Louisiana right now, you, you're, you have people there. Uh, Absolutely. Having to put their lives back together again. Yep. And quilters know exactly how to help those people, don't they? Because if nothing else, they have a quilt to wrap themselves in. Yes, absolutely. So comforting. Uh, well, so during this time of the pandemic, uh, have you been meeting or have you been using online methods? What have you, what has your group been doing? Well, um, it was very important for us to shift gears because we are so spread out and um, the mandatory uh, quarantine started right before our April meeting. So we really didn't have time to shift gears. 
So we canceled that meeting. But then we, we, we dove in our board. We have an uh, executive board of 18 members. And so I was like, okay, this will be a good test. Let's get them on and then we'll see. And it went great. And so we decided to go ahead and do our July meeting online. We found someone, Lyric Kennard did the um, presentation. She did a workshop and it was extremely successful. But we also um, did a reach out because a lot of our members are not online. And so we sent a postcard and just to say that we're thinking about you and, um, you know, to reach out to us if they had any questions. I put my phone number and email and um, sent it in the mail as a postcard. And that was very much appreciated too, so. That's right. Well, I know slowly we're all getting caught up on this technology stuff, aren't we? Yes. And even when you think you have the hang of it, you don't. <laughs> Well, and you know, these programs uh, uh, are, are free to everybody to watch, but they're really not free to produce. And so we always have a sponsor. And starting with today's session, our new sponsor for the AQS Guild Buzz is Handy Quilter. And let's take just a minute and have a word with Handy Quilter. Hello, Louisiana. I'm Kim Sandberg, Handy Quilter Studio Educator. As part of Bonnie's Guild Buzz, we're offering our quilting friends in Louisiana a special Handy Quilter Watch and Learn discount on sidearm upgrades, good through this Sunday, September 20th. Mention Guild Buzz LA at your participating Handy Quilter retailer, or you can shop online at handyquilter.com and enter the code Guild Buzz LA at checkout to get this great deal. If you're watching this video after this offer expires, stop by handyquilter.com for the latest long arm education and inspiration. We'd love to see you. Okay, we're back. And uh, I want to tell you that Handy Quilter is going to have a giveaway in conjunction with the Guild Buzz. And it's going to be an HQ Stitch 710 piecing an applique machine. You know, they also make home machines now, and it will be one of those. It's a value of $3,495. So I will encourage you, after you've watched the program, to go into the information down below and click on the link so that you can go in there and register. Uh, we also will have a, a survey five or six question survey. So it'll just take you a few minutes to go in and answer those questions. It just kind of gives us some feedback and today's survey will be on online classes. Uh, so we want to know what it is that you're doing out there in all the time that we're spending at home and is online classes one of those things. So be sure to answer that survey. So what do you think uh, your guild will be, will be doing in the next few months? The next few months, we're going to go ahead um, with our next meeting will be in October. So we already have our speaker lined up for that. And um, actually, unfortunately, we're in the throes of canceling our quilt show. We had rescheduled it from April to November. And so um, we now are trying to wrap the, all those little uh, details up. Um, so that's what we've been busy with lately. The quilt show too is probably one of your fundraising events, is it not? It is. Yes, it is. And also we have um, a rosebud luncheon that over the years there's always been a dinner or a brunch that's accompanied the quilt show and it became the rosebud luncheon which um, it was the fundraiser for the cash prizes for the awards that happened at the quilt show the next week. So, um, so yes, we took a double hit there. Um, but we are proceeding with our seminar planning, which you are a seminar teacher, and that will be in March. So we are excited about that. Um, we, we are not holding our retreats. We normally would have a fall retreat. So we put those on hold. Um, but we're thinking about maybe trying to get more um, virtual with those. And so um, we're putting out feelers. A lot of us have been participating in some virtual retreats. And so we're gathering ideas and trying to see where we might have some interest. 
Well, yeah. you know what? We are all doing that. Uh, right now, Alan and I are working on a new program that will be titled Let's Make a Quilt. And it will be uh, geared to that beginning quilt maker or those that just want a refresher. And I'll be teaching it and we'll be doing that totally online. And uh, we hope to get that all filmed and everything so that we can open that up in October. So I'll encourage all of you to stay tuned to AQS. And um, particularly, I know that the manufacturers have sold out all of their lower end sewing machines because we have everybody making masks, right? Yes. And, uh, and so we thought this was a good time to introduce a simple quilt pattern and work through all the processes of putting a small quilt together. And so that's what it'll be about. And um, we hope that your group will participate in that and it, it will be something that will be at no charge to you. We have some sponsors that will be helping us with that. Um, always something new and you know what, I think we just better get all involved in being online for a while because it yes. looks like that's where we're going to be. Yes, I actually have some items here. Um, we did do some sew alongs in the beginning and so we did a panel because we figured everybody has panels and so we did a quick uh, wall hanging for that. Okay, open it up, open it up a little more. Okay. I want to see the panel, yeah. <laughs> And do you know what? Aren't they making some really nice panels now? Yes, gorgeous and came out really great. And we had over 50 people participate in that through Facebook. And it was really fun to see everybody interacting. So, um, so that was a success. So we went ahead and did another one. So we did a smaller, um, it was around Memorial Day, but I didn't do patriotic. I had to do my own version of patriotic. So. It's a wall hanging. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Actually, I have a collection of flag quilts. <laughs> and that's and a that that's was our Pursuit of Excellence. Um, uh, we have a, a program called Pursuit of Excellence where normally you would travel to a, a hosting guild and members get to share their expertise. And then the attendees take that information back to their guilds and teach those skills. So learning and then passing it on is the idea behind Pursuit of Excellence. Before you go on, uh, mm -hmm. let's explain that a little bit more because okay. it's, it's members of your guild uh, or, or the various guilds that, you're, that are in, you know, the yes. various groups that are in your we guild. We have affiliated guilds. To be an affiliated guild, you have to have at least five current GSQA members. And then there's the benefits to that. POE is one of them. Okay, and so those groups send in a couple representatives That's to right. this program on, uh, what's the title of it again? It's Pursuit of Excellence. So each time you go, it's different skill sets. And then those people projects. go back to their guilds and share what they learned. That's right. Okay, that's a great program. It is. It gets, it gets excellent feedback, and, um, and she did a great job. Paula Matthews is our chair, and she just jumped right in and got those sew alongs going. So, so hopefully we'll do a few more of those over the next, and I don't know, maybe for a long time because <laughs> they did go over so well. And because we're so spread out, it's a great way to reach members who can't travel because of disability or expense or distance, whatever reason they don't get to come to our quarterly meetings, they still feel like the group and still benefit from membership. Okay, and so do you have some other programs similar to that? We do. We have um, circuit teachers. Um, that's, it's an innovative program. We um, use the talents and skills of our GSQA members again, but this time they do structured classes. And um, again, the affiliated guilds can contract with those teachers who, um, and they, uh, they, they go through an approval process. So they have each have at least up to three classes and um, they agree to um, a certain pricing. And then, so this, it helps out the smaller guilds, um, but the big guilds take advantage of it too. So it gets everybody a little bit of exposure. And so those also, teachers hit every state then, don't they? All four they of your can. states, they can. Yes. So, yeah. And so, and it gives, you know, 
I've been um, the program chair of our local guild, that is not an easy job. <laughs> So that I think is a wonderful resource for those program chairs um, to share who they've had and um, and then it's a built in list of teachers to draw from. So I definitely appreciated having that. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, tell us about that pretty quilt that you have hanging behind you. So that is our opportunity quilt. It is amazing. And we, um, we work really hard on our opportunity quilt because once again, we are spread out. And so we only get to see each other four, uh, four times a year. So um, the president elect every other year has the responsibility of chairing a committee that designs this quilt. They pick the fabrics and kit up blocks and bring those to our general meetings and sell those kits. So it's actually a really huge group effort because um, I have a couple of blocks in there. I wasn't on the committee, but I, but I got some <laughs> blocks in, that was exciting. And then it's really fun because um, if you get a block picked, you get acknowledged. And they even made this year, look, it's mini, it's a pin. Oh gosh, It's so cute. tiny, it's absolutely amazing. It's not as amazing as the quilt, but it's pretty close. Well, and so the committee did those then for the people that contributed Correct. blocks? Yes, and we announce it at a meeting and you get to hurrah everybody. It's fun. So this will be auctioned um, when it's supposed to be at the last day of the quilt show. So um, because we have our licensing, we have to do the drawing on um, that day, which I think is November 7th. Okay, so somebody's going to win a really pretty quilt. Well, I always choose a quilt to hang behind me here for the program, and the quilt today is called Family Tree by Stacy Day, and uh, this will be a quilt that will be patterned in the January American Quilter magazine, and I borrowed it, and I chose the hearts because we love being back with our quilters. And uh, so I want to just encourage you, uh, everybody, to go register for the Handy Quilter Sewing Machine. Fill out the survey. And if at any time you have any suggestions or any ideas that you'd like to put forward so that we can share them here on the Guild Buzz, send them to bonnie.browning at americanquilter.com and we'll see if we can work it in. So with that, we'll plan on seeing you again next Wednesday with another AQS Guild Buzz with Bonnie. And thank you so much, Lori, for being with us today and sharing about your group. Thank you for having us. I enjoyed it. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>